Okay, this is the homework video to prepare you for your math 7-8 quiz number four. So we're going to be doing multiplying and dividing rational numbers. Um, we're going to do six examples. So the first one is going to be like um, a word problem, but we're not going to write everything down. So basically, um, we're just going to pull information. If my contract time is seven and one fourth hours each day, contract time meaning how many hours I need to work per my contract as a teacher, um, I have six class periods and each one is three-fourths of an hour each day. We're just making these numbers up, okay? So, the question is, how many hours are spent teaching my classes? Because I have um, these classes, but I also have some, some like lunch time and things built in, okay? So, seven and a fourth for the day I first need to figure out what is my six times three fourths of an hour because that's how many time that's how many minutes I'm teaching. So I'm going to multiply these. I just need to make this a um, fraction, and then I'm going to multiply straight across. So I get eighteen fourths. If I do that, the other way I can do it is I can look diagonally and simplify. So I can divide this by two and I get two, and I can divide six by two and I get three. Now I'm gonna multiply those numbers and I get nine halves. Even if you got 18 fourths, it still reduces to nine halves. So now this is my number of hours. This is how many hours a day I'm teaching. I need to see how much that is out of my total time. So the next thing I'm gonna do is figure out, let's see, let's write this as a mixed number. Um, so seven times four is 28, plus one is 29 fourths. So this part equaled nine halves. 29 fourths is the total time each day that I am working. So I need to know, I need to take this away, right? So, because I need to know how much left how, much, how many hours are spent teaching their classes? Oh, well, it's not asking me how much time is left. Okay, never mind. So I just need to convert this, and I'm going to get, I didn't even need to do anything with that. I'm going to get um, 2 goes into 9 four times, and there's one left over. So four and a half hours teaching. Now, that is obviously not realistic at all, but this is just an example problem. Okay, let's do another one where we're going to divide fractions that are negative. Okay, in order to divide fractions, since fractions are already division problems, we need to multiply by the reciprocal. You guys probably learned it as keep, change, flip. It means keep the first number change it to multiplication. So multiply by the reciprocal means to flip the fraction. Don't forget the negative and it becomes six fifths. Now we're going to look diagonally or you know what, let's just multiply straight across this time. So we get negative three, always apply the negative to the numerator, negative three times negative six, positive 18, four times five, 20, I can reduce those. Both of them are divisible by two, and I get nine tenths is my answer. Positive, because a negative times a negative is a positive. Okay, let's try 3.4 times negative two. So with decimals, we have to line them up. I know that a negative times a positive is going to be a negative, so I'm gonna put that there in my answer. Then I'm just gonna multiply as normal. 
one number is behind a decimal, so I need to move this invisible decimal one time, and I get 6.8, and there's my answer to that. Um, want to just go over different ways of expressing multiplication uh, expressions. So if you have negative 3 times 2, that's the same as 2 times negative 3. Um, let's say that obviously that equals negative 6, both of them. So now that's also the same as negative 6 divided by to, if you notice, I'm kind of making like this fact family where the three is negative, the six is negative, and the two is positive. So you're gonna have a question that has you select all the things that are representing um, a word problem. Anything in the fact family is going to work. One second. 